Welcome to today's lecture on giant cell arteritis. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into various aspects of this fascinating disease, including its presentation, pathogenesis, clinical manifestations, diagnostic approach, treatment options, and long-term management. We will also explore the association between giant cell arteritis and polymyalgia rheumatica, as well as the implications of this condition on visual and cardiovascular health. Lastly, we will touch upon recent advances in the management of giant cell arteritis. So, let's begin our journey into the world of giant cell arteritis. Giant cell arteritis, also known as temporal arteritis, is a chronic inflammation of medium and large arteries in individuals over 50, with higher incidence in women. Symptoms include headache, temporal artery tenderness, jaw claudication, and visual disturbances. Diagnosis involves clinical findings, lab tests, and imaging. Giant cell arteritis is an autoimmune disease with a complex pathogenesis involving genetic and environmental factors. Immune dysregulation, specifically T-cell activation and pro-inflammatory cytokine production, leads to arterial inflammation characterized by granulomatous infiltrates. Targeted therapies require a better understanding of these mechanisms. Giant cell arteritis is a systemic disease with varied symptoms. In addition to the classic triad, patients may experience fever, fatigue, weight loss, anemia, polymyalgia rheumatica, and constitutional symptoms. Prompt identification of vision-related symptoms is crucial to prevent irreversible visual impairment. Medical professionals should consider giant cell arteritis in elderly patients presenting with these signs. To diagnose giant cell arteritis, a comprehensive approach is necessary. This includes obtaining a detailed medical history, conducting a thorough physical examination, ordering specific laboratory tests, and utilizing imaging studies. The goal is to identify typical symptoms, evaluate the arteries, assess inflammation markers, and confirm the diagnosis using a temporal artery biopsy or advanced imaging techniques. Several conditions can mimic the clinical presentation of giant cell arteritis, making a thorough differential diagnosis essential. Conditions such as infection, for example, herpes zoster, syphilis, autoimmune diseases, for example, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, other vasculitides, for example, Takayasu arteritis, polyarteritis nodosa, and even malignancies, for example, lymphoma, should be considered and carefully ruled out. Differentiating giant cell arteritis from these conditions often requires a combination of clinical judgment, laboratory findings, and histopathological evaluation. Collaboration with other specialists, such as rheumatologists, ophthalmologists, and infectious disease specialists, may be necessary. Giant cell arteritis can cause serious complications beyond arterial inflammation. These include vision loss, stroke, and aortic aneurysms. Prompt recognition and management of these complications are crucial for improving patient outcomes. Treatment of giant cell arteritis involves the use of glucocorticoids like prednisone, but long-term use is associated with adverse effects. Methotrexate and tocilizumab may be used to minimize glucocorticoid exposure. Individual factors determine the choice of therapy, and close monitoring is necessary. Giant cell arteritis requires ongoing management to prevent complications. Prognosis varies, with some experiencing remission and others having relapses. Complications like aortic aneurysms, dissections, and vision problems emphasize the importance of monitoring and adjusting treatment. Managing side effects of steroids and educating patients are crucial for optimal outcomes. Giant cell arteritis and polymyalgia rheumatica often coexist, with up to 50% of patients presenting with both conditions simultaneously or sequentially. Polymyalgia rheumatica, characterized by proximal muscle pain and stiffness, can proceed, coincide with, or follow the onset of giant cell arteritis. The shared pathogenic mechanisms and overlapping clinical features suggest a close relationship between the two entities. Management typically involves a combination of glucocorticoids and, if indicated, glucocorticoid-sparing agents. Recognizing and addressing the presence of polymyalgia rheumatica in patients with giant cell arteritis is vital for comprehensive care and optimal outcomes. Visual disturbances are among the most feared complications of giant cell arteritis, as they can lead to irreversible blindness. Ischemic optic neuropathy, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, retinal artery occlusion, and amaurosis fugax are potential ocular manifestations of the disease. Prompt recognition and referral to ophthalmology for assessment and treatment are crucial to preserve vision. Ophthalmologists play a vital role in promptly evaluating the severity of the ocular involvement and initiating appropriate measures to mitigate visual loss. Collaborative efforts between ophthalmologists and rheumatologists are essential for optimal visual outcomes in these patients. Giant cell arteritis is a condition that increases the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and peripheral artery disease. 
the disease causes inflammation and changes in the artery walls, leading to cardiovascular problems. Managing risk factors, like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and quitting smoking, is important in reducing cardiovascular disease. Effective control of the underlying inflammation is also crucial. Collaboration among cardiologists, rheumatologists, and primary care doctors is essential for comprehensive patient care. Advancements in understanding giant cell arteritis have led to the discovery of new therapeutic targets. Targeted therapies such as tofacitinib and ceruleumab are being investigated and show potential for improved disease control and fewer side effects compared to traditional glucocorticoids. Ongoing research focuses on other targeted interventions like B-cell depletion therapy and immune checkpoint inhibitors. These advancements have the potential to greatly improve the management of this disease. In summary, giant cell arteritis is a complex disease that needs early recognition and precise diagnosis. Prompt initiation of appropriate therapy is crucial in managing complications and optimizing outcomes. Ongoing research and collaboration among specialties shape treatment strategies. It is crucial for healthcare providers to stay updated with the latest evidence and advancements in managing giant cell arteritis for optimal patient care. Thank you for your attention.